Hi, it's Terry Carr, and you are inside DHA's Box of Rock, where we get you up close and personal with your favorite rockers. A band that has been on my radar for about a year, and I was so excited to get them inside the Box of Rock. Heaven's Basement, amazing, energetic, down and dirty, gritty rock and roll band out of the UK with a dynamic and brilliant debut record called Filthy Empire. I had the chance to sit down with Rob and Sid from Heaven's Basement and get up close and personal with the band. So I'm here with my friends Rob and Sid from my new favorite band, Heaven's Basement. If you read my top 13 of 2013, uh, Filthy Empire, I think it was like ranked number three or something. Just a great, great debut record. Talk to me about the live feel of the songs on the record. Did you guys do that purposely? Because they were custom made for your amazing live performance. Well, we just knew that we were going to be touring this for like as long as possible. And we wanted, we're the four guys standing there on stage. So if one of us isn't getting off an idea on a song, we end up rearranging it so everyone's on the same page. Because, you know, ideally we, we just went in with a mentality that in 10 years time, we, we could headline Download Festival in England playing all of Filthy Empire in its entirety. Like, whether or not we do that is beside the point. You just got to set the bar high. We weren't there to kind of just make up the numbers. We really wanted to come in and kick everyone in the ball, so to speak, I guess. Yeah, and you absolutely do. I mean, if you see these guys live, you will be blown away. Talk to me about some of these festival shows that you guys play. I mean, you guys are always on these Mondo ginormo dome you know type shows whether it's download or whether it's rock on the range what's it like to get out in front of a crowd you know like these crowds and play these songs live um it's like having the carpet pulled out from beneath your feet because i don't know how we did it last summer we managed to play all of the festivals in america and it was awesome like opening kansas city rock festival to a, a, an ocean of people it was unreal yeah. and when you're finished are you sort of like wait a minute what just happened well no the good thing about like all the festivals is you get to become really good friends with all the bands that are playing. So, and they, they kind of do similar lineups throughout the festivals of that year. So once you're playing, it's just a party. Everyone just hangs out. And... So you guys do play with a lot of these bands. Who do you love to be kind of out there and touring with? I know you've played with Buck Cherry and Papa Roach and Hailstorm and a lot of the cool young fresh bands. Um, Alice Cooper you guys played with. What, who do you love to be out there touring with? And you're just like, oh, it's going to be like all home week. I can't wait till we get back with these guys. Like, literally... All of the ones you named, like Papa Roach was the first tour I ever did in the UK and just the nicest guy straight off the bat and they always put on an amazing live show so you know you got to be honest, Jacoby is absolutely mental and so uh, charismatic as a front man. Hailstorm, we toured with them like three, three, four years ago now, their first ever time in Europe and it was RJ's birthday and we were in uh, Amsterdam. He's we a just, wild man we had, too. We've had some really good times and they, they deserve all the stuff they're getting. Like, but yeah, literally all the bands you named... Uh, Alice Cooper, yeah, I hang out with him. I got his number, no big deal. <laughs> nah, I haven't at all. But you just him coming over and like shaking a hand, saying that he enjoyed our set and liked the sound was just mind-boggling. I guess yeah. yeah. Very Wayne's World, right? Did you have the we're not worthy moment? We had a discussion about whether it would be right to do it. Or not. <laughs> yeah. He was awesome, man. Like we were looking up pictures afterward. Like this is how much of a legend Alice Cooper is. We were looking up thing people that he's hung out with. There's like pictures of him like hanging out with Elvis and like drinking with John Lennon and there's him just nailing a beer next to Colonel Sanders <laughs> and that's unreal like, well the coolest thing too is these guys are being very modest but they did like a Halloween show with Alice which I mean is absolutely like a dream come true for any band it's a dream come true for us as fans to go to a Halloween show with Alice and I do have to ask you again Rob talk to me about your dogs everyone knows I love dogs you and I met a while ago we start talking about dogs your dog owner how many dogs do you have I have four I've got two golden labs a beagle and a Pekingese cross and there's more dogs in our house than people now, so they kind of run amok. And uh, I go home every now and again, they get better food than I do most of the time. <laughs> they are, they live the life of luxury, but my mum has taken it upon herself to, uh, they, she calls it personality, I call it lack of training, but they... <laughs> I, I have one of those dogs too. Uh, Heaven's Basement, guys, congratulations on the success. The record is absolutely phenomenal. I can't wait to see you guys at Rock on the Range. And thank you so much for hanging out with me inside the Box of Rock. Mm, mm, smoochy, smoochy.